Hi everyone, it's Billiards Doctor here. Today I want to talk to you about the pendulum stroke and how to have the perfect pendulum stroke. So I've been working on my stroke for about four years. I film it a lot. I get critiques from a lot of um, other players and coaches and clinic instructors. Um, and I've seen that by having a pendulum stroke and focusing on the fundamentals of what a pendulum stroke should look like, it's really improved my game and just my shot making ability, especially on those long straight shots. And a couple keys to the pendulum stroke that you want to have is that as you're following through, your wrist should automatically kind of go forward a little bit. So you can see that wrist is straight, 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 and the cue is going from being at a right angle here to being at an obtuse angle here. And that's the key, because when you do that, you notice the tip of the cue automatically goes downward. And that's where you want to finish on most of your shots. Unless you're doing a topspin type shot, you want to finish usually with the tip of the cue downward, or at least very low. So as you can see, the tip of the cue, it's in the middle here. If I'm trying to, this is the ball I'm trying to hit. In the middle here, middle here, middle here. Then as you hit it, your tip should go down. Your wrist should go forward, tip should go down. So you stay in that straight line the whole time. Um, one other thing that I've noticed from doing the pendulum stroke that has really helped me is keeping the cue as level to the table as possible. And this is really key here because when the cue is as flat and as parallel to the table as possible, then it allows you to have a very clean hit on the cue ball. You're not doing any type of twisting and you're not going at it at a downward angle so you don't get swerved and it really, really helps. Um, and for me, because I'm a taller player, I've seen that from my form in order to have the best pendulum stroke possible, I actually elevate my chin. And there's another video that I made on uh, chin elevation, so if you have a question that you should watch that. But it's really helped my game for a couple reasons. It's allowed my arm to have more room to move, which allows me to have a better pendulum stroke, because I used to be very, very tight, like this, and it would hit my, hit my chest. And that pendulum stroke was kind of halted at the end. Um, so by putting my chin a little higher, I was able to get a better pendulum stroke. Um, additionally, I notice that when I get lazy sometimes, and when I'm just shooting around and not really focusing, I'm sometimes aiming my Q-tip downwards as I hit it. So when I make contact, the cue's actually going downwards already, which is not what you want. You notice that when I make contact going through here, the perfect pendulum stroke, I'm actually hitting flat, and then the Q-tip comes down. So as you can see there, you're actually hitting hitting it, and the cue is parallel to the table, parallel to the table, and then as you go further, your wrist just allows the cue tip to automatically go downward. And that's the key thing. And um, you know, putting this all together, right, having the cue as level to the table, but also having a relaxed wrist is very important. Um, I had a video earlier on wrist action, where I talk about how a lot of the Filipino players Dennis Arcoyo, Efren Reyes, Francisco Bustamante, their wrists are super loose. And if it helps you, that's great. I like my wrist to be a little bit rigid. I like to keep it pretty, pretty straight like this. So it's going back and forth, it's staying straight. Whereas the Filipino players will have it go like this, kind of go back and up and down like that. So as you can see my wrist here, I keep it straight, but the cue in my hand is loose and that's the key here. So it's a loose grip but a relatively straight, rigid whip, uh, wrist. And that loose grip allows me to have the perfect follow through and the perfect, uh, the perfect um, pendulum stroke. Because if my were to be gripping really tightly at the end, then oftentimes I've noticed, at least for me, when I grip tightly, I tend to twist the Q-tip a little bit. And that causes what's called uh, steering, where basically as you hit the ball, you're kind of steering it left or right with your cue afterwards, and that's not good because that puts on inadvertent side spin. So I'll show you right now my pendulum stroke. Um, so I'll make a bunch of these balls. Uh, these pockets are very tight. So
So you have to be very accurate. These are a little bit less than four and three-fourths quarters, so they aren't diamond tables tight, but still pretty tight. So come into my stroke. I have my chin a little bit elevated. Back, forward. Right in the center of the pocket. Like that. So continue practicing that. As you can see, the keys to the pendulum stroke are it's literally like a pendulum. It's going back and forth, and then when you make contact, the wrist should stay straight, and as you go forward. The cue, if you can see, it's an obtuse angle here. And that's the key, because that allows your cue to basically go forward and then just slightly dip down at the end of the stroke. Not during the, not as you're making contact with the ball, but afterwards. And if you watch some of the best players who are super accurate, you'll see this pendulum stroke. And it's really awesome. And I highly recommend you try it. And the keys, and I'm sure you already do a version of this, but to really focus on all the big points of the pendulum stroke will help your potting game, will help you make those long straight shots. Because you don't have to hit it that hard. You see a lot, of, a lot of amateurs will come down for the shot and they'll be all revved up and they'll grip really tight and they'll just bang the crap out of it and they'll miss the, and they'll, they'll miss the pot. Well, if you do that with the pendulum stroke, it'll most likely go in because you're really focusing on that, literally letting the cue do all the work. Back, forth, back, forth, back, hit. And as you hit, you're allowing the, the weight of the cue to hit the ball in. And like I said, as long as you keep your grip loose, not your wrist, but your grip on the cue loose, you literally are allowing the cue to follow in that straight line. And allowing that cue to follow in the straight line allows you to have that perfectly straight hit. As long as you line it up right at the beginning, having that perfectly straight hit, you're not gonna have the steering where you will steer side to side or your grip and you have the cue stuck halfway through. So, um, yeah, that's the pendulum stroke. Um, I highly recommend you try it. Um, for the last couple of weeks, I've been really focusing on going back to the fundamentals of the, of the pendulum stroke, and it's really helped my game a lot, especially keeping the cue as level to the table as possible and thinking of having that arm be loose and letting the cue weight do all the work. Uh, this is the Billiards Doctor. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos.